Hey guys, this is Zone Dymo for Zero Club Gaming here with a new hardware video. Now I got some new hardware that is actually going to help uh, cool my case and actually make it look cooler as well. Uh, so it's nothing to improve performance; it's just there. It's uh, it's some it's two fans and a case light, and I got them here. And I'm just gonna show you guys what they are. Here are the new two new fans that I got. Uh, it's a 120 millimeter fan and an 80 millimeter fan, both of the same brand, which is. Uh, Tessens or Tekens, I'm not quite sure you pronounce it with the C in the middle. Um, now they are, uh, as you can see, they already are. They are white fans. The fans themselves are white, and they are in a black, um, yeah, holder basically. And the way you connect them, which is also pretty interesting, is on the side here you can see a clear cable running, and at the bottom here is the connector, connector which you connect to your motherboard. Now that's pretty interesting because. Uh, the fans that I have in there now from Excellence, which is uh, the best brand, but uh, basically has a combination. So you ca I can choose either to connect them via the motherboard, like these uh, need to be connected, or to connect them via um, the power supply. And then it will have a 4-pin in, where you, a 4-pin Molex cable in, where you connect it to the power supply, and a 4-pin Molex cable out, because a fan doesn't use that much power. But there I have the choice. Uh, so these doesn't seem to have uh, any choice, so it's just the fan connectors on the motherboard but that's fine because um, yeah you know these are small cables small connections and uh, keep it uh, th this will keep it simple uh, less amount of cables so it will probably look very very nice now uh, right now in my case I have a 120 millimeter fan already in there blowing cool air over my uh, processor cooler and above that I have a 92 millimeter fan blowing cool air over my uh, graphics card and in the back I have an 80 millimeter fan exhausting the then hot air. Now the 80 millimeter fan that I already have in the case is going to be replaced by this one. Uh, simply put, it looks nicer. Uh, I don't know if I, I didn't mention it yet, these ones have LEDs in them, ultra bright, bright white LEDs. Uh, I, took, I chose white because really I know I, I'm not a fan of blue. Um, and that's basically it. I would love white. I mean, white is just, you know, un you know not much uh, bullshit around, just a nice white color. So this one has a white LED, it will look nice and hopefully perform nicer than the one I have. And the 120mm for the variation, also with the uh, bright light, is going to be on the spot where the other 120mm is now. And that one will be moved up and replace the 120, uh, the 92mm blowing cool air for my graphics card. Now the other thing that I got, these are the two fans I got, the other thing is of course what I mentioned, the case light, which is this. Looks very fragile, if I can show you that, uh, the white, you can see that white stripe going at the top, that's the actual case light. So here this white stripe, that is the case light, and it has a lot of other stuff in there for controlling and connecting and setting this whole thing up. But I will do an unboxing in a bit. First, I'm going to uh, show you guys what the system looks now, then I'm going to do an unboxing of these products, and then I will show you guys how the new configuration looks. So, yeah, let's uh, switch over to how the case looks right now. Alright, shitty audio commences. Here we have my case. Now, I hope the lighting is decent enough so you can see. Alright, now already you can see, um, right there is my CPU cooler, and behind it is the 80mm fan that I'm going to replace by one of them. Um, so you can see that there's one of the fans that comes. Now I'm gonna go underneath the case and hopefully I will be able to show that well. So there is the 120 millimeter fan attached to the side of the case, uh, which as you can see blows cool air oh, over the CPU cooler and then via the 80 millimeter there outside the case. And then above that, right there, is the 92 millimeter um, no brand fan blowing cool air over the graphics card which is here and of course the graphics card fan intakes that and blows it outside the case as well now I'm gonna place so I'm gonna put the 120 millimeter right here I'm gonna place this one at the top here replacing that one and the 80 millimeter is going to replace and the light the case light is actually going to be placed up top here of course I have the panel off so I will show you that now in a bit with uh, well first with the panel off and then with it on and how it looks 
So that is the inside of the case currently. Alright people, here we are back again. Now it's time to do a little unboxing. Now first I'm going to do the fans, keep it nice and simple. Uh, so let's see how this already works. Uh, let's see, I have... Okay, so there are two stickers here at the top. I need to grab my knife and cut those open. Which will be cut like... How do I need to cut these? Don't, of course, want to damage the package too much. So, one. There's no clear cutting them down or up. Okay. That seems to be... That is cut. Alright, now the other one. Is it cut now or not? Nope, it's not. Now it is. Now we are getting somewhere. Alright. <sighs> Figuring out how this works is always a pain. But now we are getting somewhere. Oh, and as you can see, yeah, there we look. See? Haha! -ha. Oh, sorry. Haha! <laughs> -ha. There is actually an option to get, um, to get this powered via the power supply, as you can see, from what is delivered here. So I'll put this down. First, let me get that fan out. Um, question is, of course, how would I get that fan? Oh, okay. That pulls straight out. Come on, fan. Be like that. We can be the best of friends. All right. Put this away. There we have the fan. Very nice looking. I have to say, it has, uh, as you can see on the camera now, it has this shiny black uh, holder, which is pretty cool. And then here we have the clear with a little cable tie on there, which I'm going to um, undo if I can get that loose. Okay. Get loose. Oh, I dropped it. Never mind. So here is the cable. You can actually see that's about 30 centimeters in length. So that's plenty of cable, plenty long. And uh, looks pretty, it, it's actually a pretty nice looking cable too. So this is all a nice combination. And then what I have with that, of course, is this bag, which ha holds the, let's see, I can take this out. And then that comes loose as well. So here you can see, here is the, the thing that you would normally have on your motherboard. Um, and you can connect that to the fan, like so. So normally if this was the motherboard, you would connect the fan like Come on. Needs it. Okay, there we go. Just shove that in. Normally you would connect your uh, fan like this on the motherboard, then you would be done. But this is an adapter. So as you can see here, uh, now I could connect this without connecting to the motherboard. I could just connect this to a power supply and get its power via that. So you would see power goes in here and then power can go out again here because uh, a fan uses that little less... that small amount of power that you can just pass this through to for example another device that needs uh, power so that's pretty nice and here are the actual connectors to if you want to screw this thing I, uh, for me it's a click system I can just click it in but if I need to screw it in the case here are the screws and there are actually some rubber rings here as well to prevent vibration so that's pretty good now of course I am guessing that the other fan will be a very similar package but I'm just gonna unpack it as well um, let's see I'm gonna put the fan like right there just just out of the way enough yep that's exactly the same it's exactly the same connectors up the uh, up the top I'm sorry I'm not oh you see that <laughs> my uh, receivers lights reflect looks actually pretty cool okay so we cut this open as well Come on, don't be so. Don't be like this. Just work with me, damn it. No, this is way harder than it should be. These stickers are so annoying. Whoever plays these stickers needs to be fired. B 
because honestly because the package itself is clear you can't really see where you need to cut the package is clear but the stickers are clear as well so if you can just there we go it's a pain it's a pain but I'll just have to live with it and again indeed here's the same connection that I just had with the um, with the other fan and the this will be the same as well. And just if I can, of course, pull this cardboard out of here. There we go. That's the cardboard. And there is the fan. Now the last thing I'm gonna check of this is real quick is to see if this cable tie is of equal, if this cable is of equal length or longer or perhaps shorter. Who knows? Put that away again, and we'll see that the cable is curled up in, in a not good way. Alright, so the cable length is, again, about 30 centimeters long. So that's the same, so here we have the fan. Ooh, so nice. So, that's that. Those are the two fans that I'm going to install. Just put it away. And put that away as well. And the last thing we're going to check now is the case light. Now the case light is luckily very easy, there's a little latch up top here, through which I can get it all. Here we go, just pulling the whole bunch out of there. Come on, get out. Alright, that's it, this thing is now, as you can see, if I can line this up properly, that you can see, totally empty. Alright, so what do we have? We have the actual light, which is this thing right here. Thirty, A um, little bit less, I think, than 30 centimeters long. Is a, which is attached to this little block unit. I'm not quite sure where I need to put that one. And then that is connected to this. Uh, let's see, how do I loosen this up? I need to go like this. All right. It's taking long. I know, I know it's taking long, but you know, you just have to bear with me. It's the first time I'm doing this as well. So we have, let's see, we have two very interesting looking connections here. Kind of remind me of, uh, of Legos when I was working that. So these are connections that are actually not connected to the motherboard. These are connected to something else that is in the package. And then we have a connection here for a power supply again. I guess that is how this thing gets is its power. That's pretty cool. Now, we have, what we have is some... Oh, okay, 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 you can see. These are plastic holders with some cable ties as well the plastic of course on the other side has some stickers so I can pull this off and then oh, um, stick it to whatever I want in my in my case of course the top of the case and then I can use those to hang this light up there or I can use this which is velcro okay and I guess I can put this velcro loosen this up again stick that to these ends and then uh, Actually, I don't really know now, because this is Velcro, so how would this help? Oh, wait, this is of course for this unit, so I can hang this unit up. Alright, okay, that's pretty interesting. Now, the other thing that is interesting is this. You can put this, you put this at the back of your case, an open slot. Then you have a on and off button here. And this is where you connect those two red ends that I just showed you so just slide those oh I'm actually okay just slide those over and then the other one as well and then you're done alright so that was the unboxing now I'm going to install this on my own and when I'm back we're gonna finish this up to show you with showing you guys the finished product alright here we go um, gonna be honest here building them putting them in the case has been a bit harder but then again I pretty much took everything apart now if I look from the front of the case oh here's the front of the case as you can see putting the light off again there we can see the 120 millimeter fan with the nice white LEDs looking at it from the side here 
let's put the light on because you guys want to see something there's the fan there's the new fan and I'm just gonna lay down here on top of the new fan is that modulator that is used for the light which is at the top here I'll put it on in a second so I did everything to put the, to get the cables as much of the way as I could but there's the fan looking really nice and then looking at the back here there is the 120 millimeter fan now blowing cool air over the CPU cooler and at the top here is the other 120 millimeter fan from uh, Excellence blowing cool air over the GPU which then again exhausts it so if I turn it off this is how it looks now of course the camera isn't that uh, great with capturing light this uh, fan actually throws a decent amount of light there and uh, there is of course the 120 mil now I'm gonna reach around the back of the case and turn that light on there we go now you can see that light is on at the top and if I go back you can see the results of that everything is nice and viewable and that is basically it for this hardware video got my two fans in and my light and I'm quite happy with the result it's looking nice and of course each his own some uh, do like a bit flashy cases some don't I uh, I think this is pretty much middle way for my uh, for me it's middle way so I do like this look of the case um, Oh, one second of course I need to show it with the panel on so I'll do that now and then I'll finish the video alright ending this video so there we go side panel is on there with the hole in it might have to push the case forward a bit more to get a bit of a hook but there we go that's it light is on now that's the side window you can see the graphics card nicely CPU cool underneath it then there underneath there is the top of the power supply the fan in the back and uh, yeah that's my uh, that's my case now um, happy with the noise I also felt with my hand of course happy with the air distributed from the case the case itself and uh, yeah happy with this uh, purchase so thank you all for watching this was a new zero clock gaming hardware video and uh, well hopefully we'll see you guys at the next video which might be hardware or a game again.